Hey there guys, welcome back to the MyGo YouTube channel. Get the opportunity today to look at one of those topics that um, quite frankly has bugged me for years. Um, I don't know exactly why it annoys me a little bit, but it does. Uh, it's about grow light penetration. So I suppose the, the reason it affects me personally is because there's comments about our own MyGo array lights that they, um, you know, I'm showing a low hanging height and for that reason, there's something wrong with the lights that they're not really penetrating. And that, um, you know, if you have to hang your high light low to get good efficiency, then there's something wrong, which for me, it's quite the opposite. <laughs> uh, to be able to hang your light low means the light is spread very well. If it's spread very well, it means the source, either the light fixture itself is large physically and able to distribute the light very evenly. But um, anyway, we are where we are. There's certain understandings out there. And uh, thankfully, I've discovered and started using the, um, the poll feature on the channel. So I did a little poll of you guys yesterday and trying to understand what light penetration means first so I can sort of address it and um, find out uh, what the facts are behind it. So I asked you, uh, I'm doing a video on grow light penetration. I want to check what you guys mean by this term. What do you understand light penetration to mean? First one was light strikes the plant canopy from multiple low angles. So there's lots of light coming in on the canopy at angles. So I get it in and around the leaves and buds. Second is the light is directed in a narrow beam with lens and reflectors. So it is this idea that the light is sort of being directed down into the canopy. Um, so I used to get a lot of comments about penetration when I made cobs at lenses saying the penetration was great. Or light intensity will be high underneath the top leaves, i.e. once you go below, below the first layer of leaves that there's light somehow getting in beyond those and generating photosynthesis and growth deeper down into the canopy. And then is, is it that the average power is high, even at a higher hanging height? So that you, even though you raise the grow light up, you're still getting good power intensity. I, it's, it's getting deep, uh, it's, a, it's a deep result, or it projects the light um, to uh, even when hung high. So as it turns out, 81% of you think its light intensity will be high underneath the top leaves. So it's the idea that this light penetrates down deep into the canopy, past the first layer of leaves, and generates growth down into the canopy. And the comments kind of reflect that. So uh, top comment here is, to me, uh, that would be the amount of light that penetrates through the canopy to the ground. Uh, next most popular comment is two things, light intensity from top to bottom of canopy. So again, reaching the deep underneath the plant, underneath the, the top of the canopy into the plant, ideally remaining above 800 PPFD and two color of light penetrating the leaf itself. So yeah, let's go through some of these, uh, these issues one by one. So the, the idea that the, um, light is directed in a narrow beam, or the average power is high even at a higher hanging height, only accounts for 12% of people, but I thought I'd just eliminate that or at least address it first. So what I did was use the LED Gardener data, which again is excellent, links to it below. It does really, really high definition power charts at multiple hanging heights, so every two inches for fixtures, including my own, um, our own Migo Array. And uh, so what I did was I took out four different lights, the Migo Array, Chill Growcraft, Viper Spectre KS5000, and HLG Scorpion Orospec, mostly LED bar lights, but also quantum board type lights. And took the average par and the par charts at three measurements, one foot, a two foot, and a three foot hanging height. And as you can see on the chart, there is a pretty consistent result that from the we call it optimum, but from the most, uh, from the base baseline, which is 12 inches, a bit low for some, um, but consistent, uh, there is a drop. Uh, so you, you double the hanging height, there's a drop of about 14% um, of the light reaching the canopy. 
And this is in large part because these were tested with reflective walls. So even when you raise the light up, the light is still getting bounced off the walls. If it wasn't for those reflective walls, you'd be losing a lot more light. But uh, most people are in grow tents, so this is, this is um, a good representation of reality. And then with the tripling, you get a reduction of about a quarter of the light. And the upside, and that's pretty much consistent for all the lights. The upside is that uh, you're getting a more even light distribution. But, um, you know, I don't think that, personally, I don't think that is, is as critical as getting as much light as possible onto the grow. But anyway, it shows you that you get a, uh, if you imagine the other way, is that if there is no plants there, your light is penetrating quite deep. Um, so it's even down after the first foot of the canopy. In theory, there should be um, still 85% uh, of the light reaching two foot. So going a foot down into the canopy. Obviously there's leaves in the way, etc. So that's not going to be the case. Um, well, it just shows you that all grow lights pretty much reach the same percentage of the light reaches um, you know, twice as far down and three times as far down um, irrespective of the fixture or the, um, the arrangement of the bars or whether it's a quantum board or an LED bar type. The next one is about this idea of the light coming in at multiple angles and as you can see if uh, using an LED bar type light, you can see here just uh, with this little demo, you can see that there's no real reflection uh, on any part of the, um, the object there I've shown in the canopy. You can see that the light is coming in at all angles and there's no, um, it's like what I call the stadium effect, which is if you imagine um, your bud being a person standing in the middle of a football pitch and that there's stadium lights coming in at all angles and you see no, there's no distinct shadow of the object in the middle. And imagine that you're, your cola or your bud in the center and you're getting light coming in from your LED bars from all angles. So those LEDs, the SMDs on an LED bar, distribute light at about 150, 160 degrees angle. So it's getting sprayed everywhere. So that really addresses that one. That 7% of people thought it was about the light striking the canopy at multiple angles. And that is the case for for pretty much all grow lights now. Even HPS with reflectors, there are loads of that light is reflecting off the side walls and uh, coming into the uh, plant canopy at uh, multiple angles. So the big one then is light intensity view will be high underneath the top leaves. Um, and there's two aspects to this. One is people pointed out spectrum. I'll deal with the spectrum first. I did a video on this previously, which I'm showing you now. And this shows that if you take a spectral radiometer and test above and below the leaf, um, and then test the, also test the light reflected, that um, under, underneath the leaf, uh, less than 10% actually will pass through the leaf. Most of that is green and far red. So as long as you have green, which is in all white LED grow lights, you will have spectrum penetration. So you'll have green going through and bouncing around the canopy as well as the upper regions of red. So into deep red and far red will do the same. So it'll penetrate the leaf. And that's shown also in this nice little graphic from, um, from Bruce Bo one of Bruce Bugby's presentations, which shows a microscopic cross section of a leaf and the light actually penetrating deeper and through, uh, the green light and the far red light penetrating deep and through uh, more so than um, blue and, um, and red. So the next big one is, does the light penetrate the canopy itself? And uh, to demonstrate that, I'm going to bring you over, over there at the uh, Array 4, uh, Array 8, sorry, set up in a 4x4. Four four, and we're going to look at these, uh, at the power readings. Here we have the Array 8 over a, uh, or in a 4x4. Four four. It's just house plants here. You can see it's positioned it's around the optimal hang height, so it's around 8 or uh, 10 inches from the light to the top of the canopy here. And using the spot on quantum sensor, you can see that at around the top of canopy level, we're getting, that's 830, 800, 840, 800. So it's all around uh, 750, 
800 around that height just on the edge here. So we're just on the front edge. Now bring it down here. So let's take canopy height here. We're at, uh, we're at about 800 bar there, 798. And I'm just going to put it immediately under the leaf. And hopefully you can see that in there. It's now 40, 40 par. So it's going from 800 above the leaf to 40 underneath. So only about 5% of par is getting through that first um, leaf at the top. And if you have an open canopy, so it's not very well developed, you can go down a few inches. And uh, here we have um, 400 par. So it's just dropping, it's in a little bit of shade. But again, if you go under a leaf here, that's dropping down to 14, 20 par, 20 par, yeah. So again, about 5%, so it's only about 5% of the light getting through the leaf. And if you go here, so we're talking uh, 760 par, and then drop six inches or 15 centimeters. And underneath the canopy here, uh, this is closed part of the canopy. It's reading um, 10, 12, 16 par, 20 par, basically nothing. So the reality is that once you go below the top level of leaves, um, less than 10%, certainly less than 10%, probably more like 5%, of the canopy, um, or sorry, of the power light, will get through any one leaf. Um, if you're down through sort of it's only partially closed canopy down under here, some power will still get through, and that's dependent on the light coming in um, at different angles and getting in underneath, which pretty much all modern. Um, LED grow lights do because they're in this bar configuration so you're getting that diffusion and once you go six inches 15 centimeters below basically the closed canopy like here um, it's down to a couple of percent of the power above now we do see little popcorn buds and stuff down lower and small leaves so there is a small amount of light getting down there and there is um, some activity but it's minimal which is why a lot of people trim down low, I think, which is understandable. Um, and that's the argument, is that there's no light down there, so why have material being grown? But uh, yeah, that's it. So as far as I can see, light penetration in terms of the way that it's understood is, uh, is not a real thing. It doesn't really happen. Um, you know, there's the argument then about side lighting and intercanopy lighting. I don't believe that's necessary. Uh, personally, I've never seen it experimented to prove whether it's of uh, net benefit, i.e. the amount of energy that you're putting in there is worthwhile, whether the plants will give you a return. But um, certainly in terms of grow light penetration, in the way that it's understood stood, uh, by my pole, doesn't really exist. Um, once you've got a spread out light source, good power level, you're doing as best you can. You should be getting a closed canopy. It's nature's way of absorbing all that light. Um, it's like a solar, pa solar panel array. You don't want gaps. You want the closed uh, canopy at the top, sucking in as much of that light where it's optimum. And uh, yeah, that's it as far as I can see. Hopefully that explained it. Hopefully that's helping some way to reducing the, uh, the amount of questions and uh, criticism that's around there about um, grow light penetration. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Please comment below. Dying to hear your comments and uh, what you think about this. Take care.